In today's video, we're going to walk through the latest feature releases. To demonstrate these updates, we'll start with one of the most typical Excaladraw use cases, creating a simple base diagram. And to keep things fast and to remind you of a few built-in tricks, we'll use shortcuts. Typing text into any selected shape is as simple as pressing Enter. Once you're done, hit Escape to leave the text editor. Creating new nodes while building the diagram is just a matter of pressing Command or Control plus arrow. This automatically creates and connects a new shape. And to move around quickly within the diagram, use Option or Alt plus arrow to jump between connected nodes. Now that we're done with the base diagram, let's take a look at how you can quickly switch between created objects using the Tab key. It's really as simple as it sounds. Just select the object you want to change and press Tab. For basic elements, you can switch between them instantly. And the best part? It works with multiple elements too. Just select them all and tab through the options. It also works if you accidentally choose a line instead of an arrow when trying to bind elements together. Just hit Tab again, pick the arrow type you need, and bind the arrow ends to the objects you want to connect. But if you prefer, you can still change the arrow style anytime from the Preferences panel on the left. Now let's move on to improved snapping of elbow arrows to diamonds. To demonstrate this, we'll create a text element using the text tool, but you can also do this by simply double-clicking on the canvas. Once the text is ready, right-click on it and choose Wrap Text in a Container. A super handy way to quickly turn text into a labeled rectangle. Previously, elbow arrows snapped only to the diamond's corners. Now you can snap them to the midpoints as well in case you need a cleaner connection. If you then need to quickly and precisely select objects in your diagram or any other drawing, head to the More Tools section and choose the new Lasso Selection tool. With it, you don't have to draw a boundary around all the objects you want to pick. Just crossing them is enough, which makes selection and any following object customization much more efficient. Pressing the Escape key will then quickly switch you back to the standard selection tool. But if you're already using it and need to quickly activate the Lasso Selection tool, simply start dragging and hold Control or Command during this process. That way, you don't need to pick it up from the toolbar at the top. For a bit of polish, we're going to use the Line tool. You probably know that multipoint lines can be used to create custom shapes, aka polygons, which is super useful. With the improved version, these polygons are even smarter. They close automatically when you place the end point near the starting point. Previously, those points were separate. Now they behave as one. Unless you click the Break Polygon button in the Preferences panel on the left, in case you need that. And since those two points now behave as one, they're also deleted as one, using the line editor, accessible with Control or Command plus Enter. 
This makes working with custom shapes a lot easier. And now that we've finished building the diagram, let's take a look at the new workspace export options. Simply head to the workspace settings section and open workspace export. Here, you can choose to export all scenes or just the non-private ones. Once you hit the export button, the export will be initiated and a download link will be sent to your email address. But you can also download it directly from the link in the notification section next to your avatar. And it works even if your subscription is canceled. Just click on Export Scenes from the Welcome screen and follow the process, which is the same as in an active workspace. And that's it. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next one.